3MF, what's up guys? Here we have the kettlebell where whatever items in front of us, hip up and over. So this is a hip flexor dominant movement. Now, very simple. The setup is easy. Bring your feet out wide, set whatever items. It's a kettlebell, dumbbell, med ball, water bottle, can literally be any item ever in the middle. As long as it's in the middle because we have to get our leg up and over it, this move will work. So this is working hip flexor. So as we know, the hip flexor is right at the top of that hip right there, okay? And why we do this is because we're super weak in our hips. We are super, super, super weak in our hips. We sit all day, we watch movies, we watch TV, we sit at a desk. We've got to strengthen our hips. That does not mean stretch. We have to strengthen our hips. That's why we do hinge movements. And that's why we do some hip work to work through our hip flexor. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit with good posture. My hands, I put them down on the mat, okay? Now from here, I kind of go straight leg, slight bend in the knee. My heels are on the ground. All I wanna do with my one leg is take it up and over control. I'm not just tap, 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 tap. No, we wanna take this as slow as we possibly can with good posture. So sitting upright, chest out, hold, back over, over, back over. Now, if I don't have to touch the ground, even better, my hip flexor is gonna feel pain. Now, here's what you're gonna to start to see though. You're gonna to start to see people start to drift back and then take it up and over. No, 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 have them in that good posture. Yes, have them in that really good posture. 30 right, good control, 30 back over to the other side. So once again, up and over. See how I'm not going over my foot? It's right before my opposite foot. Back over. Guys, number one thing you're gonna hear is, why do I have to strengthen my hips? Why are we doing this silly move? I'm not sweating, holy cow. You will need your hips. Why do you think there's a joke that older people go, I have bad hips? Because you don't strengthen them. Because you don't strengthen them. That's seriously it. And we need to work on movements like this. These small movements are incredible for strengthening the hips. Add this to something like a deadlift or a kettlebell swing. Wow. Lights out. Let's go.